to stylish niger youtube channel thank you to all of my subscribers i appreciate you guys a lot for subscribing to my channel and following my video illustrations on youtube i appreciate if you are new to my channel you are very and highly highly very welcome and if you haven't subscribed already i would appreciate if you would do that if you would subscribe to my channel and then do not forget to hit on the notification bell just beside to get an update whenever I upload a new video. So that's just like I'm basically the essence of and the bell. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this um, beautiful um, bohemian and dress. And so I'm just going to call it it's an A-line and dress actually. And then it has and some ruffles at the down and part. So it's going to be an A-line and ruffled and dress. So it's and the ruffles are kind of attached to it asymmetrically. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to cut. And I'm going to be making use of three yards of fabric to do this. So um, my online classes registration for this month are currently ongoing. So if you are interested, I'm going to drop uh, my phone number on the description box so you could um, contact me on WhatsApp message. So let's just get started. So I'm going to be folding my fabric. So what I actually have here is three yards of fabric. So I'm going to be folding one yard like this. So in cutting an A-line dress, you're just going to fold in a triangular form. So, and then you, before you cut out, so you see the way this down part is, and then you see the way this top part is. So before you cut out, there are some things that you're going to put into consideration. And for this dress, we're going to be adding a ruffles to the down part. And the ruffles that we're going to be adding to the down part is going to be about 13 inches so we're going to measure out and so i'm just going to place my tape here like this and then measure out um 13 inches so and before you you measure that out the first thing you are going to put into consideration is your chest line that's your the, the, the bust and measurement that you're going to be using so you are going to measure what you have to see if it will actually fit into your bust so what I actually have here is 10 inches, which is 40. So um, for the bust, 40 uh, inches. So I'm just going to check. So if I minus 13, because I'm going to be adding 13 inches, I'm going to have 47. So the gown is still a little bit and too long. So I'm just going to come to this point like this and then mark. So because I'm going to add 14 inches to the down part of my dress so at the end of the day so it's better for you to if you want to measure it you take out the 13 inches like this and then you see the remaining so i have about 45 inches now which is okay so i'm going to this point now it's going to be my start and point so i'm going to cut out the front first then i'll use the front to cut out the back so i'm just going to measure out at my full and length then i'm going to measure out the full length now so from this point now i'm just going to Remove the 13 inches, I'll put at the down. So I'm making use of 45 inches. So I'm just going to do it like this. So this is um, 45 inches. So you remember the 13 inches and, and then you, I'm going to mark the 45 inches around. So I'm going to, I'm starting from this point. So I've gotten the down part. So I'm going to cut out those parts now. So this is like the down part of our, of our A-line dress. So I'm going to add um, to the down part. I said I'll add 13 inches to the down. That's for the ruffle. So I'm going to fold this other fabric now to cut out the back. So I'm, I want to place both of them together. So you're just going to fold on the triangular um, form like this also and then you take the front piece and then you place like this in order for you to get out and then you add your zipper allowance to it to the back and piece so you make uh, the back bigger than the front by two inches or one inches inch so it depends on how much allowance you usually use so i'm going to cut so you see what i have now so see my allow my zipper allowance is here so i'm just going to cut out like this now. so while i'm measuring what i put into consideration was actually the bust 
and measurement so I, I was going to i'm going using 40 for the chest um part so that's just like basically the part where i'm going to be um measuring so just the bust part that's the part that is going to be a little bit tight so that was why i used it for the top so now we're just going to start measuring adding our measurements to this so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to come to this point now i'm going to measure out and the neckline so you could see the neckline is a little bit and small not really big so i'm going to use three and a half inches or three inches for the neckline and then the depth that i'm going to use so i'm going to just use this line i'm going to leave this inch it's going to be my shoulder line where i'm going to stitch so from this point i'm just going to come down for the depth of the neckline so i'll use four inches so i'm just going to mark it like this and then from this point i'm going to take my shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement i'm making use of 16 inches so this is 16 inches which is eight and um, plus eight so you your shoulder measurement you divide it into two and then i'll add one and half inch allowance or one inch allowance to it to this point so from this point now i'm just going to measure out my armhole because it is a sleeveless dress so you, the armhole don't need to be too big unless you want it open so i'm going to use seven inches for my armhole i'm going to cut out uh, my armhole like this so i'll use my pattern cover cut it out like this so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to slant my shoulder so i'm just going to come to this point and I'll measure one inch like this and then with my ruler i'm going to slant do a shoulder slant or slope so it depends on what you choose to call it so it comes into the neckline point so from this point now so like i said i'm going to measure out the bust and measurement so I'll place my tape like this i'll measure my bust is actually 40 inches so when you divide 40 into 4 you have 10 so this is 10 inches so from this um, point, I'm just going to add one and one and half inch or one inch allow or two inch allowance. So I'm just going to mark it like this. So from this point, it is a free dress. So from this point, I'm just going to slant it to the hem and line, not the, the down part. So I'm going to take like this. So I'm making an A line dress. So you see, I'm just going to place my ruler this way, and then I'm going to slant. So from this point, like this. I'm just going to slant so you see it's really um, simple and easy it's really simple and easy okay so i'm going to measure out the back and neckline and so the back neckline is higher than the front and necklines but you could make both of them the same so for the back neckline what you are going to do the simple thing to do you, you can just mark like this just mark this point like this and then from this point you're just going to measure about two inches so when you measure two inches that is what you are now, you are now going to use like this to make, mark out the back and neckline so it's going to come like this you're just going to curve it like this so the next thing now we're going to cut out the back and the front together so for the front armhole i'm going to deepen it a little bit when i'm done so, so for the front armhole here is what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to this point like this I'm just going to chop it in a little bit so that's for the front armhole so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to add and um, the 13 inches that we removed earlier so in adding this 13 inches for the ruffle you can decide to do this in two ways you can decide to use a flay and form to form out the ruffles but before then this undress i'm going to be cutting a part of it so i'm, I'm going to go stitch it first I'm going to join the sides and seam and then I'm going to cut out a piece, a part of it because it is not really entirely straight. So I'm going to cut out a part of it before I attach uh, my ruffles. So, um, and the ruffles, or, so let's, let me just stitch it first then before we continue. Uh, so the, when I mean by stitching, I'm going to fix the zipper at the back. So the back and piece, I'm going to open it up. I'll fix the zipper on the back and then I'll join the side side and then the neckline i'll turn out the neckline and then before i bring it and then we'll cut out the seam okay so um what i'm going to do now i'm going to start stitching so the neckline you can decide to um, make use of um, a facing that's to cut out a facing like this to turn out your neckline so in cutting out a facing you're just going to measure 
about uh, seven inches and then you're going to cut it out on fold like this so you place it like this you place on uh, the fabric like this you just fold a, a straight fabric like this on top like this and then you cut it through the armhole point so and then you leave the neckline so when you're stitching you're just going to stitch you're going to place it like this and then you stitch the neckline point and then stitch and the armhole point because it is a sleeveless and dress and then your shoulder uh, measurement my shoulder is actually 14 inches but because it is a uh, a sleeveless so i'm going to reduce it to 13 inches so the allowance that i added you cut out the allowance so you're just going to use uh, your shoulder measurement is going to you're going to make use of like 13 inches because it is a sleeveless and dress or 12 so it depends on how slim you want the uh, arm that's the, the arm and part the shoulder part to be so for this i'm going to be using a bias and strap to turn this out so in turning out i'm just going to place it like this and then i'm going to stitch my bias around on the neckline and then just do the same thing to the arm hole and part so that's just what i'm going to do now So I'm going to stitch on the front and then do the same thing to the back and part. Okay, so um, I'm going to measure out on the bust and measurement now. So like I said, I'm going to make use of 20 inches. So this is the center of my dress. So this here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place 10 inches here at the center. And then I'm going to mark 20 inches. So this is 20 inches because the only part of this dress that is um, tight is the bust and part. So this is my 20 inches so i've marked it out so here is what i'm going to do i'm just going to take it from this armhole point like this and then i'm going to, to run a stitch like this so slanted like this to the hem line so i'm going to do the same thing to this side also i'm just going to um, follow it like this from this point like this and then i'm going to run a stitch on as close as possible so i'm just going to do that now okay guys so um so you could see our um gown our a-line gown so it's really um coming out nice it's really coming out nicely so um so we are done with and um, the body part so if you want to leave it like this you just want to um fix the the ruffles at the down you can decide to do this and the ruffles in cutting the ruffles you can decide to do it in two forms you can decide to cut the ruffles in flay form or you can decide to use a straight um, metal that's just a um, cut straight a uh, cut out and straight and uh, strap and just split around it so i'm going to do the straight one so in, um, I'm, I'm going to cut out a part of this and um, dress so i want it to be like an asymmetric as in a part of it to be a little bit high so that's just what i'm going to do and then this is the center of my dress of the a-line dress so i'm going to mark it like this and i'm going to cut out i'm going to come to the side like this so you're going to measure how um, big you want it to be you understand so you're going to cut so i'm going to measure and out and six inches from this side i'm going to use reduce just with about and six inches i'm going to look at it before before i actually cut it out so So I'm just going to use the pointed and part of my uh, of my A-line just to cut it out so it, it blends back. So from this down part, this is about 2 inches. So you just put that into consideration when cutting. So I'm going to cut, cut out like this. So when I attach my rough way, part of it will be a little bit up. You could do this or you could even decide to do this to leave this part like this. You leave this part and then you come the 6 inches that were measured on that side. You can measure out another six inches from this side. I'm just um this idea just came to me now. So you are just going to to do this also. You understand? You're just going to do this. So you can decide to cut this side off, cut this side off, and then you have a point here down, and then you fix your ruffles like this. So this part will be a little bit down, and then this side will be up, and then this side will be up. So you can decide to do that. So in sewing it's always good to be creative so you just most times when you see styles if you don't want to copy the exact size style you could decide to switch up 
a little bit so that um, brings actually brings out your creativity so we're going to cut out just one part so from this um part like this so i'm just going to um blend out on this part like this so this was the first line we need so this you do after stitching so you see what i have so you see the shape of my dress it's looking like what we have on the picture already so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to cut out remember i said we are using and 13 inches so in measuring out um what i actually have is 17 inches so you remember we've cut out on this um, part now so you're just going to measure like this so i have 17 inches which is on 34 inches so i'm going to make a, a long strap of um, 34 inches because i'm going to pleat i just want to mark out my 34 inches and times two that's what i'm going to do i'm going to mark out 34 so i, I need the, the, the length first so this is my 13 inches so this is like my 34 inches so i have double here this is like my 34 inches so i even have extra so i'm just going to cut out everything that i have so at the end of the day i'm going to be using about um, 44 inches of raw food that's 88 inches that's the width is 88 so i'm just going to keep this on the side and then i'm going to open this. so i'm going to open up on this um, part now so here is what we are going to do you are going to do this in two ways if you are going to be using a, um, an overlock um, stitch you could decide to just um, lock your edges that's for the top part you can decide to lock it or you can decide to, to weave the top part because here is how we are going to be placing it we are actually going to be placing it on top because we are going to be creating and the ruffles we're going to be having um like one inch pleat that's what we're going to use to pleat it around so um before then i'm going to go and fold the down part of my so i'll join this together i'll join it like this on one side and then i'll have a long a very long on um, strap so i'll have a very long strap so i think i'm going to add to this because i don't have much so i'm going to add to this i'm going to add to it okay so i've added to my um fabric that i'm going to use for the ruffle so at the end of the day when i join and the three piece together what i'm going to have the measurement that is the long and straight strap that i'm going to have about 120 inches of fabric so that is what i'm going to use so i'm just going to stitch them together and then fold it and then i'll come and show you how to attach it so you need to see how i'm going to attach it to the dress okay so i uh, finish i'm um, folding the down part or oh, that's the part of my 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 straps that's the straps of the fabric that i'm going to do, use to make create my ruffle so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to fold it into two so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to to get on the center point of this so i'm just going to put a tiny notch here so i really don't want it um to um so I'm just going to put a create a tiny notch here. So here's what I'm going to do. So the essence of the notch is when I'm uh, ruffling uh, my dress, I'm going to ruffle a half part of this. So you see my strap is very long. I'm going to ruffle half part of this into the front and then ruffle the other half into the back. So I can decide to start it um, from. So I'm going to start start actually start it from this asymmetric part and then I ruffle it to this side. So I'm going to open up this side a bit when I'm done. That I'll, I'll where, that's where I'm going to close up and this um, part. So here is what we're going to do now. I'm going to take it to the machine and then show you how to do this because we're going to we're just going to I'm going to place it on top to join it. So let's just go. Okay, so this is on the notch and part. So in ruffling it, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the asymmetric and part of and the dress i'm just going to place it like this and then i'm going to take this you are going to determine um how many inches you actually want to be on top so mine i'm going to be making use of about a uh, one inch i'm going to make be making use of about one inch you can do two inch so here's what we are going to do i'm just going to take i'm just going to slide it into my machine like this and then from the center part, from the asymmetric part, I'm just going to make one fold like this. So that's the fold that I'm going to use to start. I'm going to be stitching on top. So this is just like a top and stitch. 
and then I'm going to be using the edge that's the round and part of my of the dress that's what I'm going to use as guide so you really need to watch this so I'm just going to place it like this so you could decide to use and bias to cover it up so I'm just going to be looking as I'm stitching I'm going to be looking at it from the under part to make sure that I'm not um, misled by the machine or so I'll stitch it just as close as possible to the down part so I'm just going to stitch like this So I'll create and the pleats at intervals so you can decide and to you can decide how you actually want it. So I'm just going to be led by the curve on the down part of my of my dress. That's what I'm going to use. So and then I'm going to be watching and the fabric that I have left. So that is what is going to help me to create to know how to pleat on my dress so i'm just going to keep going like this i'm just going to keep creating the ruffles around it and then you watch what you're doing you check it from the under check it properly and then you see the way i'm just gliding my hand through so i'm just going to continue like this until i get to the end so i'm just going to do that i'm going to take it around and then I'll come back and show you the once I'm done. You see the ruffles is already coming out. The beauty is already coming out. So I'm just going, going to keep and continue going like this. Okay, guys. So you could see the final look of our beautiful airline um, ruffle down ruffle dress. So this is the asymmetric and part. That's the part that is a little bit up. And then this is the other side. So it actually came out and beautifully well. So this is the armhole and then the neckline. It came out beautifully well at the end of the day. So guys, so this is how you do this. So if you find this illustration helpful, please and do not hesitate to hit on the like button. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed already, please, I would appreciate if you do that. If you find this illustration helpful, subscribe and then like it to make me know you appreciate uh, what I did with this uh, illustration. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.